All right, everybody, and welcome back to set two of week one of the LCUS. We've got game two uh, coming through here. Option 12, kind of taking a commanding lead in the second game, or in the first game there, and kind of choked Phoenix out. Uh, what, do you, what do you think needs to happen here? I know we talked about it a little bit towards the end of last game, uh, but what do you think needs to happen here for Phoenix? Um, I think that they need to play more around mid. Uh, I talked about that a little bit at the end of last game. Um, but yeah, I think that Alonzi Tardis was down about three levels uh, pretty early in that game one. And you could just see the power. There was that 2v2, like delayed 2v2 up in the top lane where unfortunately, you know, he, he was just, there was no way he was going to stand up to burn the heretics Olaf in that fight because he was two three levels down so i think that you need to focus your jungle pressure on probably your strongest laner which i believe is pointy ball and then try to have pointy ball be on a roaming mid laner and translate that lead elsewhere yeah i definitely think the game kind of started to fall apart through top and jungle um laning phase was well done by eternal um, standing up to Shaken Out Sturd's Rumble alright and doing trading blows with him but as the game started to break down um, Rumble was able to pick up more and more kills uh, via yeah. bad engagements uh, on Phoenix's side or just well played roams um, I definitely think wow first pick Nasus Alonzi Tardis really couldn't find his footing last game, and I definitely want to see him uh, kind of show us more of the jungler we're used to seeing from him. So I think it was just uh, a mix of a bad game for him as well as just not having the openings that he needed to uh, to be able to run away with the game. Yeah, it, it's tricky for Phoenix because I believe that... Um... I'm, I mean, no inherent disrespect to Sigtau Eternal when I say this, but I do believe that he is overmatched in the top lane. Um, and so I believe that mid lane, bot lane, like bot lane is probably relatively even because Prowler is new to the Eddie Carey role. Uh, um, he's a platinum player, but he's not necessarily a platinum Eddie Carey. But I think that you just have to find your advantages where they are. And I do believe that Pointy Ball can find those advantages in the mid lane. Not that Gregosaurus is uh, not a good mid laner. He's a very good mid laner. He's a champion mid laner, obviously. But I think the Pointy Ball is what you play through. Absolutely. So Pointy if you're Ball looking has for advantages, been... you, you can affect things. I mean, if you get mid ahead, you can get everyone ahead. That's just kind of how it is these days. Pointy Ball definitely has been a proven carry as well. Uh, he's holds the crown for the last two splits, playing ADC, both splits, um, definitely being a large source of each team's carry potential on uh, White Wolf and then option 12. Um, definitely one of those players that you can reliable, reliably play through and has a more aggressive play style than I believe Greg has. So has the more... I think he has a little bit higher carry potential, especially through the mid lane, um, than Greg does. Uh, we've got Vladimir picked here, Annie taken away. So I'm guessing they're thinking that Vladimir is probably going to go top lane. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I mean, I yeah, I would be very surprised, very pleasantly surprised though, uh, if this Vladimir is going mid. Uh, I, I certainly don't expect it. I have personally never seen Gregosaurus Rex play Vladimir before, but it would be it'd be cool to be surprised. But yes, I, I think that if uh, Phoenix are expecting that this Vladimir is top and they are banning as such, I would not blame them in the least for that prediction. Chat seems to believe that Rel is going to be top lane, so that means that Vladimir's got to land somewhere mm -hmm. else. Uh... Uh, Queen Elizabeth plays a lot of Rel. Queen Elizabeth likes Rel. I think this is going to be a Tom Kench top lane, actually. Ooh, which means Greg would be landing on that Vladimir, most likely. 
Yeah. Unless unless Prowler pulls it out, but the Kaisa's already picked it, and that would be really weird for the Kaisa not to go on Prowler in this instance. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely okay. Yeah, we can. I think we know the lanes here. It's, yeah, we can it's stop Kaisa, speculating Relbot. now. It's all been shown. Kaisa Relbot, yeah, for sure. So, a comment about Eternal. Uh, last season, he was very instrumental for his team, despite not really being... Like, this this matchup against Shaken Not Stirred, I don't think is too outside of his familiarity. Um, he's not, like, the highest ELO top laner in the league, and certainly wasn't last split as well, but he did a very good job holding his own, uh, and he showed it last game as well, so I think he's very capable. It's going to be interesting seeing him on the Nasus here, though. Uh, especially first pick mm. on the Nasus. It's going to... Nars got a lot of potential to really bully out that Nasus. Mm. I... Oh. I... <laughs> I... I do not like this draft from Phoenix, to be honest, where there's so little damage. They where, have the Zack Ori Wombo combo. There's... There's a world where we sit here and we stare at a potential Moonstone team on the side of Phoenix. <laughs> and if that's the case, as long as Kaisa dies relatively early in the fights, I think they survive every fight. Yeah, but how do you how do you kill the Kaisa? Uh Kaisa's actually relatively squishy and can get blown up by a Seraphine Senna. Or Ori combo, so I don't think it's outside of the realm of possibility. Um, as far as comps go, I do lean towards option twelve here, but I definitely see some serious potential from Phoenix here. I think that Phoenix has to get very far ahead uh, to make this comp work, because I just think there there just isn't enough damage. I mean, to get through a, a Vladimir with all of his healing, uh Hecarim with all of his healing, I I just, I don't know. Rel gets so tanky when she gets in the back line. I, yeah, I don't know. It's hard for me to see this Phoenix comp uh, being able to kill anybody. But I will eat my words that uh, the Gregor Source is taking the Vladimir mid because I played <laughs> with this guy for <laughs> eleven years now, and I've never seen him play Vladimir. Even in A Ram, I don't think I've ever seen him play Vladimir. He probably uh, died every time. I feel like you're <laughs> underrating the damage on the side of Phoenix. Um, they have a lot of burst potential between Oriana Seraphine and Senna does provide a bit of that like sustained damage. So I think their damage is definitely there, especially if the Nasus can get his stacks and get his durability up to stay in fights and really become a monster. Um, but I think I think as far as carries go, uh, you're not looking at Nasus being your primary carry here. You can't. Um, because that's just... You're betting too much on the Nasus, which if the game goes long enough, it's going to happen anyways. Sure. Mm -hmm. So I guess unless you're really on your back foot, you don't play towards the Nasus being your primary carry. Yeah, but at the same time, I mean, you you talked about burst damage, uh, but what happens if that burst doesn't hit? Then all of a sudden you're you're completely useless. If if Shockwave doesn't hit three people, and those three people actually matter then team fight is over. Uh, I think you're generally right there. Um, this comp is a lot more execution focused as far as team fights go uh, by Phoenix, but I definitely think that the tools that they have there are very potent. Like uh, Zack plus Ori, is just disgusting, and then you throw Seraphine ult on top of that, and you've got the entire enemy team useless for like two seconds. For eight years, yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. And then yeah, I guess I just see I just see option 12's comp as having way more uh, chances to win, whereas it looks like Phoenix is about okay, we need to hit everything perfectly, or 
we have no chance. Well, I'm excited to see just how perfectly they can hit everything. Because if they can't, <laughs> that's, that's going to be real exciting, you know? Yeah, it definitely will be. Uh, I, I hope to see it. We're uh, getting into the skin count challenge right here. Uh, no skin on the Seraphine. Ah, very disappointing, Alpha. So we got High Noon Senna on the other Mar team now. Marquis Vladimir. What the heck is Marquis Vladimir? It's a very that old even... skin. Yeah, so basically not a skin. It's uh actually... <laughs> it had a visual update. Um, and I think it turned out fine. Um, I don't know. I'm a huge fan of the Dark Star skin line and High Noon Senna. And yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to go Phoenix here. I really don't like the new model for the All Out Kaisa skin. I prefer yeah, the I old that. model. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Seraphine doesn't have a skin, so I feel like I have to go with option 12, but I really want to go with <laughs> Phoenix. So I'm going to go with Phoenix because Lunar Guardian Nasus is a pretty quality skin. Dark Star skin line is one of my favorites, and High Noon skin line is also way up there with the recent additions. Like Ash and Senna both look insane. Lucian looks pretty good. All that. Yeah, fun I'm stuff. gonna go. I'm gonna go Phoenix because I like their four skins better than uh, the four skins of Option Twelve, and I think that Marquis Vladimir is basically no skin. Is basically not having a skin. So. Yeah. What the heck is that skin? He has so many cool skins. What are you doing? <laughs> well, well, the colors all line up for option 12. Do a so cool they have that. Level one. Oh, it looks like Phoenix might, or excuse me, option 12 might be looking for a cool level one. I like it. All right. I'm going to retract my previous vote. I have to go with option 12 just because their skins, oh, the, colors, the colors all match. And that's that's worth more, you know? That That is actually pretty cool. I didn't notice that until just now they were running but yeah that that is a solid point but i'm still gonna stick with mine just i don't know for controversy just so we disagree that's more exciting well that's okay you can be wrong i won't judge you <laughs> much. i am wrong all the time mm, i feel like that's wrong so like in and of I, itself I, you're creating I a paradox right there i predicted 2-0 on uh on nine lives in the first set and i was wrong so always wrong all good um, yeah, ruin recalls, no summoners burned, and looks like we'll have symmetrical starts once again on the bot side. Are there any particular lane matchups that you're looking at that you feel like will be skewed one way or the other? Um, I definitely think the top lane, this NAR is going to be a problem for the Nasus, and I think the Zac needs to help him out early. Um, at least to help him stabilize lane. Uh, as far as mm -hmm. mid lane goes, I think Pointy Ball is gonna kind of do a similar thing as he did with Syndra. Just kind of be a oppre uh, oppressive, bully. Um, and I feel like bot lane is going to be a bit of a swing lane again. So, I don't know. I feel like... Oh boy, am I a chance? Oh, my chance is gonna die. Wow, so quick. Great engage from Queen Liz Bear. Just immediately capitalizing on that. Just walked too far. Just a little too aggressive with the poke and gets heavily punished for it. Yeah, that last auto just walked way too far forward. So at this point. Uh, yeah, the lanes are going pretty much as you uh, expected Arcane Soda. I mean, top lane, I, I, I think Gnar pretty much always wins this matchup. I, I would be shocked if not. Um, but yeah, that, that bot lane just looked like a Maya Chan. A little too excited to try to get a couple autos out. Got punished so heavily. And a great engage by Queen Elizabeth to, to punish immediately so quickly. I see we've got a skin rename proposed in chat. Um, there's there's a motion to rename the Vlad skin Dorky Rich Guy Vlad. 
<laughs> okay. I, I, I can see the resemblance. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I guess. <laughs> Good poke from Pointy Ball, just getting Gregor Stars down real low. Now he has to uh, deny. Oh, oh, this. Wow, that's that's a little greedy. That was a little tilt, actually, from Pointy Ball. The right flash there, there was a, probably a bit excessive. I. Well, he had to be level three for a little while there, so he had to know that the pool was there. So a little unfortunate, but. Burns the what flash for Gregor Source's teleport. So not exactly an even trade. Sick out Eternal in some trouble. But burn the Terek. Oh, did he miss the devastating charge? I'm not sure exactly what happened there. He hit it, but he like backed up first. So I don't know if it's uh he meant to to click on him and missed and clicked high and then clicked on him and pushed him away or what was going on there, but that was almost very, very bad for Eternal. Eternal also Regardless, uses flash. I could have missed that he flashed and potentially threw off the play. In the top side, regardless. Um... Eternal doing a decent job in terms of CS for now, but that wave is pushing towards Chicken not stirred, so it's currently it will... sitting at 51 stacks, which I don't think is too awful for five minutes. Rel jumps in. Queen was better looking for some damage, but uh, yeah, once you miss that engage, there really isn't much to be done. Prowler could be in trouble here. Oh, that's a nice slow ignite, and Alpha gets the kill on the Seraphine K pop right in your face, right there. That's almost tragic. Because the hero minion dove in front and said, I'll take that Senna W, it's okay. And look at Alonzi Tardis going right in, taking away the wolf camp. He is Where getting is collapsed on now. Yeah, this could be dangerous. Scary. Unfortunately, Alonzi Tardis didn't have the support of his laners yet. He's able to safely and flash out, though. Away. And you know what? I think that's okay. I think that's okay. That's for okay, them. but uh, if I'm a Lonzi Tardis, I'm a little upset with my laners right there because they they should have been there to back him up. Well, your bot lane is putting pressure on the tower, and the rel has ease of access to answer there. Um, and the Prowler was walking back from lane or from from base, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like oh, being in their jungle... with a roam up to the top lane. Or just a flash out of Shaken Not Surd. It was an aggressive play to invade when enemies are at oh, their Oh, Shockwave towers. actually comes down. Shaken Not Surd could go down huge. here. He has no flash. Pony Ball, one more Q, one more auto. Got him. Doesn't just have the mana for the in. Q, so he has to go for the auto. That That's was actually... That was really well played because he just... Shaking that surge just assumed Pony Ball was walking back to mid lane. The dragon and then started all of a sudden, here, and I think out. they do know about it, but they're not going to be able to steal it. And yeah, that, they don't go for the fight either. 12. Yeah, it was good play by Action 12. Just, okay, Pony Ball's top. Let's just go take a free Drake. Oh, definitely a much more uh, diverse game we're seeing right here. A lot of action all over the map. Kills are in favor of Phoenix, so that's always a plus. 99 stacks on the Nasus. I'm really excited to see how this mid lane matchup goes because... Oh, that's a big chunk with the... the Oriana W. Ponyball needs to get this next blue. If option 12 can somehow disrupt this next blue transfer, it would be huge, actually. Yeah, he's got the tier, but he doesn't have the lost chapter, so he's still hurting for mana there. And Sigtau Eternal, he's only down 6 CS, and he's got a lot to collect in front of his turret here. And he's Nasus. So as long as you're only down... Oh, actually, both jugglers right up here. Alonzi Tardis, I don't know if he knows Burn the Hatterdick is here. I don't think that was the right choice to go in there. Sig Tower Eternal is just going to die. He didn't have the mana for the ult. And that's that's a big 
blunder right there. Alonzi Tardis should die as well. He will split into Bloblets, waste the passive. That's a big boon to the efforts of option 12. There's no smite to be had for the style kill, but... <laughs> Ooh, nice shockwave lands onto Gregosaurus in the mid lane, and he is in trouble. Does he pull away. He down here. Beautiful. Does still die. Beautiful timing on the QW by... Very Pointy well Ball. played by Pointy Ball. Gets him with, like, the edge of the shockwave range. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was excellently played. And Gregosaurus with flash up, so just uh, wasn't quite able to get away from that shockwave in time. Still, though, uh, oh, Pointy Ball is actually down in the bottom lane. Big damage onto Prowler. He's just gonna harass a little bit. Just and there's a charm. Prowler so low, and actually Pony Ball dies for it. Just a little too aggressive. They do take down Prowler, which actually I guess is worth because now the Kaisa misses out on all the CS, all of this uh, experience. And they're getting a lot of damage onto that rel, but. But now here comes here. the Heretic down here. Big time damage. Here comes Gregosaurus with the Hemo Plague. Nice title pool. He should be able to pick up a Maya No, didn't quite have the damage. And that's Flash burned by Gregosaurus, but we've also got all sums burned by the bot lane of Phoenix. Uh, really well played to disengage there. The kill on the Kaisa under the tower, the Seraphine ult just tagged the rel. Oh, Alonzi going back in. This seems really reckless. And Prowler is back, and Alonzi Tardis is gone. Maya Chan does decide to just back out there. Correct decision in my book. He, that blob boy is dead. No use in trying to die with him. Yeah, I think a little too hypey there from Alonzi Tardis. Sig Tower Turno up in the top lane, just farming up the Q a little bit. We're up to 162 stacks, doing real well getting those stacks. It's another cannon. And you got Burn the Heretic coming mid. He will be seen right now. Now, now Pointy Ball knows he's there. Gregosaurus does not have flash, so he can't get there. Nice shockwave. Good shockwave to disengage. Yeah, absolutely. Really, that was necessary. Absolutely. Now the rest of option 12 moves toward the mid lane. It looked and, uh, like they're going to collapse uh, on Pointy Ball they're, they're again. Still going. Pointy Ball, yeah, he, he should be W fine. tags, but you're not going to dive the tower. That sounds reckless. <laughs> sounds fanatic reckless. Um, <laughs> you mean G2. Got... Yeah, see, I, I don't agree with that roam by the bot lane from option 12 there because you're losing a wave now. Um, and, and I just, it seemed like a very low percentage play. Yeah, without the uh, play working Although out in their Alpha favor, it's definitely a <laughs> waste of time. But, you know, sometimes you got to make those plays to try to build a lead or lead. keep your loot. Yeah, yeah, sure. We do have some uh, contention around the Drake. Burn the hair tick. Get stunned gonna up. gonna hit two. Yeah, that's, that's some that's good chip damage. A lot of damage early coming on. from Dragon here. MVP in that team fight. Yeah, the Hecker him down to about 30% health. And perhaps more importantly, Prowler down to about half. And I think they just have to give up this Drake. They have a ward there, they see it happening. Burn the hair tick it, it, does it smite, it. so it does look like he's not gonna try to do a cheeky ult smite steal. He has two levels on Alonzi Tardis again, so the potential for a smite steal is actually scary if they position for it. But they're just gonna opt to not do it. I think they have I think the game's close enough that they don't necessarily care about losing that infernal Drake. It looks like it is going to be a mountain soul. It could be very useful for the tanks on either side, really becoming that raid yeah. boss unkillable <laughs> level. Yeah, that's that's funny. It's like the first series, I feel like, where we've got both teams would love to have a mountain drake in this composition. Good damage from Pointy Ball going right in on Gregosaurus. Gregosaurus still with... Uh, no magic resistance. 
so I mean we know Vladimir is just inherently durable with his sustain but it's not itemizing against the Orianna at any point so far should be a second plate here in the bot side nice job by Prowler and Elizabeth Bear Really good wave clear coming on the bot side, forcing them off the tower there. Stun comes up in the top lane, but Shaking Hot Sturd is not going to follow up on it, but is going to keep poking a bit. Eternal. The Encore was actually burned uh, by there. Alpha in the bot side, and now we've got both junglers here. Oh boy, if, uh, if Alonzi Tardis goes for this, it could get ugly. I don't think they know that Burn is there. Yeah, they have not seen him yet, I don't think. He he actually, he walked right through. He was very close to a lot of the Ooh, but Another really right here, good shockwave to disengage. Balls, just barely able to stay alive, and they and jump in and they kill huge. Prowler, and now right back in under Gregor Swords. Uses the pool to potentially get away. Good flash, and actually a dive in the, the top lane top ends up lane. being yeah, a one Yeah, burn for the one. heretic goes down, but uh, Sea Tower Channel answers. So on a one for side, one in a two for one though, or in a two v one. So you'll take those. Yeah, and on the sure. back side of all of it, Phoenix gets the tower in the bot lane. This is gonna be first tower gold going over to the Seraphine and the Senna, and you definitely take those. Yeah, yeah, really, really uh, beneficial play across the map. Action all over. And uh, it looked relatively even, but it wasn't. Shaken Not Stirred will answer with the turret in the top lane, though. So that does help to equalize things. Even though he's not on Rumble, he's still equalizing. And at this point, you just, you just wonder if Team Phoenix can accrue enough damage, accrue enough uh, penetration to get through option 12 because right when you look at just the comps, they don't look like they have a lot of damage on their composition. Nobody seems to be really he caring will step for into a pink ward, but I think he has time. No, nothing there. Jump in actually from Melanzi Tardis onto Prowler. Does get gets the some damage stun. down. And meanwhile, Gregor Source is actually in a lot of trouble. The last auto attack from Pointy Ball gets him. Flash for flash, and he gets the kill. And uh, this might be a mid lane turret. Chicken not third on the side. He gets rooted up actually. This is a big deal. He gets charmed. They don't quite have the damage. And with the Nar being down here, that gives the NASA some free time to be Ooh, hitting that here top comes the tower. Tardis. That's a great knockup. He will go down, but he's just in the bloblets, so he is fine for now. Prowler does eventually finish him off, and everyone is fine. Oh, just a miss by Amaya Chan on the Q. Otherwise, that would have been a kill onto Prowler, I think. The Nar ult there was pretty big, hitting four of them. They do end up going one for one in the fight and getting the tower. And with all that pressure, Eternal is able to finish off the tower in the top lane, doing great, looking at 291 stacks here at 17 minutes. Yeah, that's that's the thing I was about to say is all things being even, they are not even when the other team has a Nasus. When the other team has a Nasus, like even is not even because infinite scaling. It looks like option 12 is going to have the inside track on Dragon here, though, uh, with the awkward reset time of Phoenix. They're probably just going to try to burn it right away. And, and it looks like Phoenix is close enough that they might be able to respond if they sniff it out quick enough. Yeah, you're, you're correct. As long as, uh, yeah, Phoenix, they are aware. They do know what's happening. If you're Sig Tower Eternal, I, I feel like he should it's have walked five v four right now. They don't have the they're Seraphine. They're too late. They're too late. They don't have time. Oh my Ooh, God! Oh, crazy did a mind steal! How did a mind chance steal that? Huge shockwave onto about three actually. Big double kill coming out from Pony Ball. He is carrying this game right now. Power. He just cannot do it. Kaisa has been nerfed, can no longer 1v9. Shaken Nasser just trying to walk away from the fight, but it's a 4 for 2, and the dragon was stolen by a Maya Chan. What a play. That was an 
insane steal by the Senna Q is what grabbed it. Oh, chicken, don't walk through there. <laughs> Eternal survives yeah, just long enough to wreak havoc on the back line, and Seraphine shows up to keep him safe. And that was that was a really good fight for Phoenix. Oh, they got the charm now. Actually, no I, I'm route not sure to follow, that but that's okay. They should probably just leave. I'm I'm gonna channel my Kenos right now. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. <laughs> okay, they are. <laughs> Uh, yeah, pointy ball with a big time, uh, looks like two or three man shockwave. Looks like they might try to man or woman shockwave. Quick uh, in here that before river. it despawns, but it looks like they're gonna get spotted and aim for a pick. Not gonna get it, and they're just gonna start this up. Try to kill it before it despawns. And this could be huge for them, because if they get this, that could be a lot of damage onto that mid lane and hip turret. And Shaken Nestor is in the bot lane. He does have teleport available. Oh, and they jump right in. I love the decisiveness. Prowler is gone. Another great shockwave from Pointy Ball. He catches two more, but in goes Shaken Nestor. He's in Mega. He is scary, but Elizabeth dies as well. And now it's just the Gnar all alone and gone. And actually, Phoenix could potentially get Baron here. I don't As think they can do it about with these three with the with the low health on the Seraphine. So I agree with, with them the just Nasus? Okay. Yeah. Okay. The Nasus definitely can make it happen, but the Seraphine's low, which makes it kind of scary to do. Sure, sure. Um you don't have the smite there and the respawn timers are up, so I, I agree with their decision not to, but it it's definitely uh that was a very volatile fight. I want to give a shout out right now to to Pointy Ball. Three shockwaves in a row in a row have won fights. Yeah, even if he just gets nuked right after the shockwave goes off, he did his job, and that's exactly what happened in that last fight. Uh, Shaken Not Stirred has been having some pretty good Nar ults as well. Uh, they just unfortunately haven't been quite as impactful without the team damage layered in there. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Oh, another Shockwave onto two. The engage is not quite there, but Prowler is just gonna die as the Maya-chan shows up. He will die, probably? He, he does play. No, it's not enough. And actually now Gregor Source is in a lot of trouble. They root up, burn the Heretic. In goes the Onslaught of Shadows. He will take down Seraphine a Maya-chan. nukes the But they trade the it. Yeah, it's a three for one, and it's only Shaken Not Stirred and Queen Elizabeth left alive for option 12. Again, Meanwhile, that's a net positive, and Nasus wasn't even there. Yeah, Sigtau Eternal doing Nasus things up in the top side, just slamming away at those turrets. And yeah, once again, Phoenix, just, they, they just seem to be the ones who are willing to pull the trigger. Look at that. That Discord, the Command Discord, taking 60% of Prowler's health. And you're you're saying that they don't have the damage. I was saying that. Thank you for calling me out. I do deserve <laughs> it. I do deserve it. I was saying that. You're absolutely correct. I'm just Damn saying, it. Playing, <laughs> against, <laughs> playing against <laughs> Oriana is terrifying. <laughs> They're looking for another kill. Oh my goodness, that's so much damage. Oh, what a silly guy that the this guy is. to try is. to survive. He is going Pointy to will fall die for here. it. <laughs> and actually, this this could get a little scary. Uh, Alpha's in a lot of trouble. Nice route. Team is here, and though. The and the Heretic, the Heretic just Turtle, gets melted. The Doge is too strong. And Elizabeth, actually, Elizabeth does take him down. This actually could turn around. Wow, look at option 12. They collaborate, they find their way. Alonzi Tardis is around. He they do have to be scared of people. this Seraphine still destroying the Kaisa potentially, but the teleport yeah, is in. Alpha. Reinforcements Alpha have arrived. Back, but he will die, and that's, that's an ace. That's an ace out of all of that. Uh, we have teleport coming in. 
from Pointy Ball now. He's he's looking for something. Ooh, uh, he almost takes out the row. Low. Doesn't get it. There's Shockwave another Shockwave, but it's not enough, and he will probably die here. That's okay, because the Nasus is here. A new challenger approaches. Nasus is here, but Lizabear gets the shield. She is Ooh. just fine. Teleport's coming back. Oh my gosh, Team Phoenix is just, like, running it down right now. You can't be and going in one them. by one. I know you've got... They've got the low health bars. You've got the damage, but... There's just too many of them. Amaya over so, the wall, trying to set up for that second Drake steal. Yeah, Amaya Chan cannot get close. Oh, Amaya Chan got close, and Amaya Chan is now going to die. Ooh. And Alonzo Tardis can't get close enough to. Alonzo Tardis just so. needs to leave here. It's not <laughs> worth trying to finish off that little gnar there. So, um, yeah. To to our this is a very explosive who might last five minutes. Not frequent this channel. We apologize. That was an interesting and questionable few minutes of gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a lot of uh, insane plays going one way and the other, and followed up with some questionable plays. Um, and all of a sudden, option 12 is uh, back on pretty even footing here. Once again, though, you, you do have... I mean, you have a Nasus who is relevant, and that's always the scary part. Is When Nasus gets to the point where Nasus can just three-shot turrets, it just changes the meta. Because all of a sudden, he can destroy your base in 10 seconds. Nasus is sitting at 423 stacks right now, which is definitely scary. But if you're if you're option 12 right now, you got a feeling so good compared to about three minutes ago. Yeah, those last couple of fights were really on a knife's edge, and they just went option 12 to play. Uh, Greg being able to teleport into that fight around Dragon Pit where everyone else was super low health bars to secure that ace was definitely a deciding factor in that fight. Otherwise, kills could have gone either way. Oh boy, actually this could be catch. really bad. Burn the hair attack, gonna go down so quickly. And this could actually be the power play that could potentially decide the game because Baron is up. So having the jungler down, so I'm sitting not at about 66 sure. six stacks. So she's got that increased Ooh, they jump in. Yeah, Queen Bear actually counter engages and Amaya Chan goes down right away. That's a great turnaround from option 12. They should be okay now. Shake and not stirred. Misses the boomerang, but he should be alright just to continue to chase Alpha. Has to burn the ultimate. Pony Ball and Nasus uh, are inside lanes and Shockwave is not available right now. And uh option 12 are actually gonna move towards Baron. They I would be shocked if they actually started. Okay, they are, so I am shocked. Uh, so you Nasus Eternal able to finish the off the tower here and going to start walking down. Burn the Heretic is making his way in. Ops 12 they does disengage. The yeah, this is this is very dangerous. Uh, he is but spotted now. The Actually, if he gets onto Pony Ball, oh, that's huge! Pony Ball goes down. He didn't have the Power Ball, excuse me, the uh, Shockwave go down but everyone in option 12 is so low but the damage we talked about this did they have the damage to win this they do they Senna do absolutely gregor storage drops amaya chan and sig tau eternal carry the fight as if they were just parents of toddlers a beautiful job cleaning up right there and it's Four for two. Seraphine, not Seraphine. Senna shows up at the last second and decides the fight in favor of Phoenix. Yeah, that was ab Seraphine. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. It seemed like there was no way they should win that fight, and then Seraphine did Seraphine things. And will can they get this? Because teleport on Gregosaurus will be up in a moment. With they all don't have the a lot chaos that's going on, uh, Eternal has made his way up to 540 stacks, and Senna's sitting here. at about 71. 
3k. Benar is looking at 1k. The okay. Spoiler. This might come through. There's no Mega yet. Shockwave, Shockwave hits two. Disengage. Nice, Mega Nar. Oh my god, what a Seraphine ult. That was an insane Seraphine ultimate. And now it's all gonna go one way. It's traffic that Gregosaurus cannot deflect. Alpha survives just barely from that oh Hemo Plague. My goodness. The encore of encore is right there from Alpha 935. And then and it was just it followed up by the slingshot that just bla they're gonna go for the dragon here, put him on soul point. But that was that was just crazy. We got the two man shockwave, which was kinda nice to slow them down. The Nara comes in, hits the ult, immediately countered by that four man seraphine ult, followed by a two or three man slingshot. That was just Ooh. Disgusting to watch. It, yeah, that was that was uh, the play of the night so far, as far as I'm considered. That encore uh, was worthy of its name. So at this point, Phoenix in in control of this game too. But at the same time, we've seen option 12 peg it back quite a bit uh, already once. So. It's gonna be up to Phoenix to play this correctly, because we do still have a, a little bit of an awkward team composition. Gold lead has doubled in the last five or six minutes, so that's nice to see for the side of Phoenix, especially with how these fights have started to go again. Definitely scarier fights than um, about ten minutes ago, but as long as they're still going your way, that's what you like to see. Yeah, the thing I always try to uh, point out is that gold leads, they should be measured by percentage rather than by actual gold value uh, when you get into mid late game. Because being up 6k right now is worth so much less than being up 6k 10 minutes ago. 15 minutes ago. Exactly. Exactly. So right now, Phoenix, they are in control, but it's not impossible for them to be in trouble. Queen Elizabeth, actually, that's a really bold engage. I appreciate it, but the shockwave comes out and immediately deletes Gregosaurus. Big jump in, though, from Shaken Not Sir. That's a great Nar ultimate. Now, what can he do on the backside? Here comes Burn the Heretic. Big time. Oh, what a stopwatch from Burn the Heretic. Or excuse me, from a uh, pointy ball, but he will still drop. And overall, what a counter engage from option 12 to shut that down. Yeah, and if you're looking at uh, if you're on option 12 right now, those are the kind of picks and fights that you want to take. They had, they didn't have numbers advantage, but they split the fight up really well so that the fight was always in their favor. The mass is just running fight. down power right now. He is just. Just full on Nasus things right now. He's killed two. He probably will not get a third. Shaken Desert is back to Meganar. Oh my god, that health gain. Actually, he he might just 1v5 this the rest of the way. We will see, but. Nasus is very scary sitting at that 666 stacks. And 11 4 Senna... 8 from Sigtow Eternal. Senna sitting there at. 82. Yeah, this this Nasus pick is definitely paying its dividends. Um, it was a little slow off to the start, but that's kind of what we expected. But he is definitely playing this to its fullest potential. Uh, just being a monster in the side lanes, and when he gets into those fights, just wreaking havoc on the back line. Yeah, I mean, that, that's just what Nasus does, to be honest, is, is Nasus just... Let me just chill for 30 minutes, and all of a sudden, I'll kill everybody. Meanwhile, though, Alpha is in a lot of trouble. Night Nar from Shaken Not Stirred. Shockwave does kill off Burn the Heretic, so a good comeback. He's going to be able to disengage here. Dragon is not up for another minute and a half, so they don't lose anything major neutral objective-wise. Um... The... Oh, they, if they catch on a pointy ball, actually, this is freaking huge, they do. There's that Kaisen gauge I was talking about a while ago.
just the ability to just go in and find somebody that you do not deserve to find. Sig Tower Eternal looking for Kaisa. He does get him with one more Q. Meanwhile, Lonzi Tardis is able to get away. So actually, that engage was completely worse. And that but... huge shutdown gold lands on Vladimir, which is somebody that really needed it. Currently sitting 3,000 gold down on that Oriana. Yeah, Lonzi Tardis, Lonzi Tardis should not be here right now. That was not worth clearing that ward. He will flash away, and I think he's all right. Phoenix needs to take a step back and just make sure that what they need to be doing is they need to be on a 4-1 um, and just you don't step up unless you have your 4. You need, you can have the yeah, Nessus the in the side lane, you can have yeah. them with you, it doesn't matter. You just need at least the other 4 together. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, it, it has to be a 4-1 for Phoenix right now because we've seen this Sig Tau Eternal on this Nasus right now is just an unstoppable force. But Eternal TP's in to uh, make sure he's here for the dragon. Dragon started I, up. I don't think that Phoenix really needs to contest this. Alpha goes in all on his lonesome actually. Prowler jumps in all by himself as well. And he actually Isn't Queen Elizabeth is the first to the... drop. But they're so low and they do get him down. It's it's so close right now. The dragon is still alive, but they do kill power. That is so huge. Oh my goodness, this Nasus is just... doing everything he can to keep this Nar busy, and Nar just set, cuts his losses and leaves. <laughs> that is Mountain Soul over to the side of Phoenix, and... That should be game, to be honest. You, you, you have a wave top. You have a wave top. Just run top right now. So you you're walking in with a wave yeah, mid a wave too. Wave mid as well. Nar makes it back. Uh, respawn timers are almost up. Game might not end right here, but it's gonna be real scary for option twelve. Yeah, hard engage on to shake and not stir. He's in a lot of trouble. Good Nar ultimate. Oh, another shockwave from Pointy Ball comes out. They will take down Queen Eliza Bear. Burn the heretic really low, and they do get him. And, uh, um, mm, yep. I, and, and, well, are you frozen again, too? I'm, I'm guessing that means the game is over in favor of, uh, Phoenix. So, you Yo, want to, you want to cast right. the events that probably happened? Oh, I bet that Prowler did a really good job trying to fend off the Nexus, but then I bet he died on the steps of the fountain. And now the, <laughs> <laughs> the Nexus will die. What a huge win from. <laughs> Riot, what are you doing, man? Like two Bone games in a row. What are you guys doing? All right. What's going on here? So, uh, yeah. yeah let's get all right. Stats. So, um, I want to yeah. see stats. All right. Good job. Good job, Phoenix. And uh, yeah, that was that was exciting up until the moment where uh, Riot ended it. Yeah, that's that's definitely very exciting up until the moment where Riot said no. I, I'm just glad that we both had the issue, so at least there's like validation that like. It wasn't our fault. All right, I guess we don't get to see stats. Uh, I'm I'm in post game, so yeah. I can look uh, at stats. All right, all right. Well, I uh, I'm not gonna be able to show stats because uh, reasons. So but, yeah, yeah. Right now, uh, yeah. So actually, Shigen Nasserd had highest damage to champions, um, but closely behind was Pony Ball. And uh, let's see. Let's look at vision score. Let's look at vision score. That's always exciting. Ooh, honest. Oh no. Option twelve vision score was really bad. Really bad. Um. Yeah, highest vision score was actually yeah highest vision score went over um to a Maya Chan of course, but. Then yeah, option twelve wasn't even close. They were they didn't have anybody even close. What was uh damage breakdown for the carries on both sides? Uh uh damage breakdown, so we had top damage going over to uh Shake and Nestard. Okay. And then second was Pony Ball. Alright. Uh and then third was Sig Tau Infinite. 
and fourth was actually a my or fourth was or excuse me third was actually alpha uh, and then fourth was sig tau infinite gotcha and then fifth was a maya chan and then uh after that i don't even know if it's relevant but then you had uh prowler and gregosaurus and some other folks yeah the senate definitely doing a lot of damage once you get a lot of once you get a lot of kills and assists going for your team you you start to do a lot of damage but um very well played it looks like we've got eternal over in the interview room if you're ready to hop over there yeah let's do it all right eternal how is it going it was a is a kind of a rough game one and then a nice nice exciting game two uh let's let's hear a little bit about it how was uh how was it going through both the games Oh, I was stressed out the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Shaken is not an easy opponent for me. Um, first game went decently well, I think. Once I got out of laning phase, it was just kind of downhill. I made some mistakes, and they capitalized all around. Um, then the second game, they just let me stack on my own, and that was what changed the game. Sure, sure. So, so for you, um, you know, you you're a defending champion, and you played with Prowler and Queen Elizabeth and Gregosaurus last split. What was it like playing against them? Um, did you try to like use any tendencies against them? Did you try to like not overthink it? What well, What was your thought process? I I didn't want to overthink it at all. I just knew that we needed to ban Morgan Swain, and then <laughs> I I was just out for blood. I wanted to kill them. I wanted to take. <laughs> I wanted to somehow steal blue buff from Greg. I didn't get to do it, but I was just honestly out for blood because they're all great guys, and I love them to death. And I miss playing with them. So getting to kill them just made it that much sweeter. So that so, was good. <laughs> so the transition from game one to game two. Game one was pretty rough ending for you guys and you guys came out of the gates kind of swinging in game two what was it like to kind of uh recenter yourself and keep spirits high um it wasn't that bad we went into this um with the mindset of we know how the rest of the league thinks of us and that um game two probably just be the same thing so we just kept our resolve up and showed them that we're not the worst team in the league. You're here to disprove the haters, I understand. Now, I do want to point out, I I was the only one on the podcast to <laughs> not have you uh, as the worst team in the league. Uh, what kind of fire does that give you uh, when you see other people rank you six? Like, does that add a little bit more when when you guys play together, when you guys group up for matches like this? Oh, it definitely does bring a fire up in you, especially when you have a good time with everyone, then it just there's just a synerg it, it, you synergize well, and then you hear that, and it just makes it that much better and it worked for 9 lives last split as well, because everyone would had them on paper like doing really bad and then after the first week, they got O2'd and then they almost won the whole thing so, week 1 ratings mean pretty much nothing and we kind of <laughs> knew that but it we wanted that motivation, and we got it yeah, I mean, all it takes is a team flowing together, running like a one solid machine, and you guys definitely showed that uh, for the majority, especially of Game 2. Uh, so definitely excited to see more of you guys this split, and we'll see just how wrong everyone else's power rankings were. Or right. <laughs> or right. You never or know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, man. Well, thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, that was a very exciting set. And uh, it looks like the bar has been raised for set three. So we're going to leave you back in the capable hands of Kenos for set three. And stay tuned.